This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Alright, so this game is called Stanley Parable, where you play as Stanley. And uh, the cool thing about this game is the whole thing is like narrated. So like as you're playing, some dude will like narrate what you're doing. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Everything's locked. What is this? Somehow I turned that off. Where's the meeting room? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Hmm. No, I didn't. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, let's just admire ah, this. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Coffee nut. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Should I do what he says, or should I keep defying him? And see what happens. I'm gonna do what he says this time. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Um. The elevator is pretty tempting. 